nice. Thanks. Uh, have a seat and uh, thank a whole. Thanks a lot. Back at you. Uh, oh, uh, boy, that sounds good. That's a lot of energy, and and uh, and it feels good. I receive it, and I put it back. Um, I uh, I like having the energy. It, it feels good. You know, I, I made a, a discovery uh, recently, and uh, I, it is that I am getting older. Um, <laughs> And, and the way I, I realized that is I, I made the mistake of sitting in a beanbag chair. Um, you know how they have certain games and they say from ages six up and you know you have to be that age to at least put, there should be a cutoff age for beanbag chairs. There should be a, a point where you realize you cannot sit in a chair like that. It took me about 15 minutes to get out of it. I didn't know where I ended and the beanbag chair started. I, was, I became part of the chair and... and um, it's a, it's a bad sign when you're realizing that it takes you a while to get up, and it never used to. Um, and, I, and I realized, here's the analogy. If my body were a car, I'd be thinking about trading it in around now. <laughs> I would like to upgrade. I would be actually on the lot somewhere, and some guy with a loud sport jacket would be sizing me up, kind of looking around, going, maybe kicking my knees, <laughs> looking behind me, going, that looks a little bashed in back there. <laughs> yeah. You mind if I check under the hood? Well, yes, I do. Thank you very much. Um, and I'm getting a... It's, it's pains that I've never had before, too. Like, all of a sudden, I'm realizing the other day my, my hip was hurting. And I, I just... You know, when they start happening, you don't pay attention at first because you think, I was gardening. And, but then all of a sudden, I'm, I'm really having... Like, my bones are starting to make noise. There's actually noise happening. And, uh, and now, when I'm watching TV, I find myself really interested in those commercials for the mystery drugs. <laughs> when you're younger, you don't even pay attention. But as you get older, you're like, all of a sudden, you're paying attention. Like, if you think Lubrador is right for you, ask your doctors. <laughs> Maybe I need Lubrador. <laughs> You don't even know what it's for. It's just, it's just like a happy couple dancing on a porch. I want Lubrador. I want to dance on a porch. Most of us are in complete denial about aging, and then you learn to accept it as you get older, you know? And there are signs you, you suddenly... Uh, <laughs> you suddenly find yourself... I said this to someone recently. Someone had a kid that I see, you know, every so often. I hadn't seen for a while, and it was a baby the last time, and now she's 12, and I'm, I'm saying things like, how'd you get so big? <laughs> Look at you. Last time I saw you, it, that coming out of my mouth scared me. And, and just the, the idea, sort of like the, the beanbag chair, when you're in any kind of chair that you have to get momentum to get up instead of just actually, you know, when you're younger, you can just get up like that. And when you're, as you get older, it takes that, you know, that kind of... I understand that chair that actually comes up and lifts you out of it now, you know? That actually is appealing to me right now. And then if you're actually listening to any radio station, there's a day, and I don't know when it happens, it's so subtle, that you start switching over to a different radio station. If you're listening to anything that says in any part of it, you're listening to smooth rock. <laughs> you know? And if at night they're dedicating love songs to somebody else, you're old. That's a, that's a, something happened. Yeah. It's not fair. It's not fair, I say, because finally, you know, you figure out who you are, you get your head in the right place, you're all set here, and then your body starts to fall apart. It, age is a very high price to pay for maturity. That's what I say. And so I've decided I may be aging, but I refuse to get old. And the best way to stay young is to move. I'm going to dance, Tony. <laughs> Thank you.
Except for up here. Are you moving your legs around? I'm moving my legs. Yeah. I am. I gotta stay in shape yeah. because I don't want to use Lubador. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know how old are you, Tony? I'm 36. You're 36. Do you yeah. know what I'm talking about yet? Yeah, I got a little scared. I was sitting on my wallet while I was driving, so my sciatic got, you know, irritated. <laughs> yeah. And I thought I was losing it. I thought, I'm old. This is it. This is where you, it all you starts. You've got too much cash if you're sitting on <laughs> <laughs> well, you pay me. Yeah, yeah. I got to take a look at that then because <laughs> sitting on your wall, it's hurting you. We're going to take a pay cut. Uh, no, yeah. no, no. You're worth every penny of it. Whatever we're paying you. Thank you. Hey, uh, Friday, if you saw the show Friday, we did a little Mother's Day uh, special for, uh, for my mama. And uh, we built a luxury box, because she's in the audience every single day. And we thought, wouldn't it be nice if she had a special seat? So for Mother's Day, she sat in that luxury box. And uh, we thought, what a waste of a luxury box to just toss it out. We should use it at least one more time. So we thought we'd get uh, someone from the riffraff room to, to have a chance to come in here. Uh, we're going to have a riffraff raffle. We're going to have a, um, a riff raffle. And uh, so can we have a riff raffle drum? Can we bring that out? Oh. Excellent job. That's Nathan Houston, everybody. Thank you. All right. Now, back there, they're all one big happy family. Watch the lack. Yeah. That's until I call a name and then watch the lack of solidarity then. And <laughs> Marilyn Bidwell, come on down. Come on, Marilyn. Come on. Just raise your hand, your right hand, and swear to tell the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. You can't handle the truth! All right, uh, <laughs> Seriously, uh, your friends and I have gotten you together because we feel... <laughs> All righty. <laughs> Are you comfortable? You have everything you need? Uh, I, 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 I can't even talk. <laughs> okay, good. Great, so thank settle you. down, we'll get you some water. And of course, if you need anything, we got this. <laughs> um. He jumped <laughs> like he's dodging a grenade or something. Like <laughs> he's trying to get up and move now. <laughs> Okay. <sighs> <laughs> like a little 
little cornered raccoon back there. We can't, <laughs> he can't get away. I was to make sure that yeah. covered. Sure. Otherwise I get in trouble. Well, we all get in trouble right. for that. If you need a blanket, you need something? <laughs> You need some no, leg warmings? I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Are they leg warmings? Warmers. Yeah, that's what I, I thought. Believe. I think they are warmers. Yeah. Did you ever wear them? Um, actually, yeah, when I was little. You did? I, yeah, when I um, pretended to be a ballerina. Right. And mm -hmm. the flash dance thing, probably. No, I think I was too young for that. Really? Yeah. When was flash dance? How, how old are you? I'm, I'm 24. No, it wasn't that much. It, well, flash dance, you probably could have been doing it when you were like, yeah, but I wouldn't have been allowed to see that movie because I would have been like four or five, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. But the leg warmers were still very popular. I'm just trying to think. There are a lot of that. There was nothing bad except that you learned how to take your bra out, off without even taking your shirt off. Oh, I've never seen it. You've never seen the movie? But I assumed there was nudity because it was the '80s. Because it was the '80s. And, and it's, <laughs> yeah. And it right. seems like all those movies, you know, there would have been a gratuitous sex scene or Jennifer Beals naked. Yeah. She might, she might have been naked yeah, in that. Yeah, I think she probably There's is. definitely water. <laughs> I've seen the water yeah, part. I remember that part. I've seen the water part. Yeah, and mm -hmm. then she's stomping like crazy because she's a maniac. Right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, when were you born? What year? I was born in 1980. Oh, it was 83, so you would have been three. Yeah, see, too yeah. young for that. Too young, but it would too be adorable to see a little three-year-old with leg warmers on. <laughs> I think I had them. My mother also used to dress me in these really weird sweatshirt, matching sweatshirt and sweatpant ensembles. Mm hmm. Um, That's what P. Diddy's crew wears now. Right. <laughs> but, um, Isn't that true? <laughs> well, no, theirs are, well, it was the, it's the opposite because theirs are bigger on the bottom and uh -huh. mine was bigger on the top. Oh, no, <laughs> with, the oh with the tight. Right. And I also used oh. to wear these weird Converse that as I, when I grew out of them, my mother would make them into um, flower pots. <laughs> Which is really a strange thing to do. Well, she also? Yes. Okay, we. <laughs> Don't touch me. Sorry. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's really a polite way of getting uh, someone's no, attention. No, go ahead. I liked it. Go ahead. Tell me what that's it was. That's also how I wake, <laughs> that's how I wake someone like else. Like I wouldn't be paying attention anyway. <laughs> Yeah, without them knowing that you woke them up. Yeah, it's great. It's really slightly right. do this. Right. Until they wake up and right. you're like, oh, hi. Yeah. <laughs> I'll remember it. We had this um, gorilla costume. Now, uh, there, I'm the youngest of four, and all, all of us wore it at one point. And as soon as I grew out of it, my mother... Back up, back up. So, you <laughs> could, so we had this gorilla costume, and we all wore it at one point. That's the conversation now? <laughs> like, there's nothing wrong with that? Okay, go ahead. I don't know where it came from, and to me, it all seemed normal. Um, but as soon as I grew out of it, she stuffed it with rags, put it on my high chair, which all of us used too, and she put my acid wash denim jean jacket on it that I had grown out of, and she still to this day has it in her bedroom, but she would change it seasonally, what it was wearing, <laughs> and all of, and people would be, the little, little girls I brought home to sleep over would take one look at the gorilla, stuffed gorilla in the dining room, and they were out of there. <laughs> Speechless, right? Well, I'm just, I'm still on the part <laughs> the that segue? she would make flower, no, the segue's oh, fine okay. with me. The, the, the problem I'm having is that she would make flower pots out of little tiny Converse shoes that you'd grow out of. What, what could you put in there? Little tiny flowers. <laughs> <laughs> we'll need to meet your mother. Um, <laughs> well, it's Mother's Day, so that I should talk about her a lot, yeah, right? Yeah, sure. I mean, not right now. It's Yesterday Mother's was Mother's Day. No. Oh, yes, yeah. you're right. That's right. <laughs> commercial break, but, but um, then when we come back, because this is, uh, you know, Brittany Murphy right. also claims to, you started, what did you say? You started reading at three. At three. You started speaking at? I have no idea. I thought you said four months. Did you tell someone? No, no, that's Brittany Murphy who said that. Yes, yeah, she said she started re speaking at four and a half months, and you're right. saying you started reading at three? Yeah, but I have a good reason for it. And I would have to see tape on that speaking at four months thing. Right. Uh, oh, no, no. We're no there we would have to be footage. No, she's a liar. We know that. <laughs> All right, we have to take a break. We'll be back right after this. We're back with Christina Ricci. And uh, is, now, is your dad Lionel Ricci? <laughs> yes, he is. Okay. Yes. All right, so. I wish I got some of that. <laughs> no. Coming yeah. to me, but no. Really? No. If I was, though, he, you know, I would have the dough. You would have it to me. You have the dough. Don't you have the dough? But not for my father. No, but you have the dough from yourself. Well, sometimes. Yeah. You, you, you should have the dough. You, you're an amazing actress. You are so great, well, Monster. Thank you. You are so great.
that movie Ice Storm. That was just a, a that was a good movie. That was really actually. good. All right, so let's get this uh, this this out of the way. So okay. you say you started reading at three. Yes, but that was only because my sister, who grew up to be a school teacher, used to like to teach me all kinds of things, and she decided to teach me how to read. Mm -hmm. And it's only because I had older brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. wasn't, I wasn't like a magic child. Uh huh. Not like Brittany Murphy, who could fly apparently. Uh huh. <laughs> No, it's your words. I didn't say anything bad about Britney. <laughs> you know, if, if you want to start a feud with Britney Murphy on the show. No, I don't. But she said something bad about you, too, but whatever. <laughs> um, all right, so let's, let's see if this is the truth. You have okay. a dog. Oh, yes, the sheriff. The sheriff is your dog's name. Yeah. I love that name, the sheriff. He's Sheriff Steve Goldberg. It, that's his full name, mm -hmm. Sheriff Steve Goldberg. Uh, so, and, and what does the dog do? The dog gets very excited, and he's a minpin, so his back legs are really strong. So minpin, he, he, yeah. miniature pincher. Yes, yeah. he spends a lot of time up on his on his uh, his back two legs, and he will throw his arms up in the air at like a holy roller, mm -hmm. you know, like he's praising the Lord. Uh huh. And uh, hopefully he'll do it because he's here. He's here. And he's gonna come out, All and right. hopefully he'll do it. But he's never been on television. Let's try. All right. Where is he? Let's get my puppy handler, Jeff. Sure. But he's got to come up here. Come on. Come on. No, oh, do it. No, he's never do been it. on TV before. He doesn't right. know what to do. Sheriff. Sheriff, come here. Come uh -oh. here. Come uh -oh. here, the sheriff. Come here. Again. Oh, there, I got him. Thank, Thank you, you, Jeff. All right. This is the sheriff. Hello. He didn't do his holy roller thing, but he's very attractive. Hello. No, he's very attractive. He deserves to be on television. Yeah, no, he certainly does. How old is the sheriff? <laughs> he's six months old. Okay. Uh -oh, he's going to get all crazy. Okay. And, oh, he, yeah, he's never been on television. No, never. He's he, very confused. Yeah. He so, wants to, he wants to praise the Lord, but he's too confused right now. <laughs> <laughs> he'd love, he'd love to praise the Lord, but he uh, just can't. Come on, praise the Lord. <laughs> Come on. Attack more excited Come on. to see hey. him. Hey, oh, what's going Shit. on? Shit. Shit. This might just make us look like jerks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's too late for that now. <laughs> All right. Come on. Come here. Come on. And praise the Lord. Come on. Come on. No, he just wants to leave. All right. He's very camera yeah, shy. I'm, I'm sorry, the sheriff. All right. No, you can just call him sheriff to his face. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> When we talk about Shara. him, he's the sheriff. <laughs> sheriff! Hi, Sheriff! See, there he goes. Hi. He's Hello. excited Hi. now. Oh, 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 it's very exciting. Let's go! Oh, come on! Oh. 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 No, you got All to right. make it the puppy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, All right, he very, can come back here maybe he'll do it as I'm uh, telling everybody that Monster comes out on uh, DVD June 1st. And, oh, yes, uh, it does. Yeah. Um, and, hey, Sheriff, Sheriff when we come, come back, here. I'm taking everybody to the mall to show everybody my kiosk. So, how That's about exciting. that? <laughs> That luxury box, that's the best seat in the house because now Christina Ricci has joined Marilyn in the luxury box there. Very I think that's great. I think we've started something. That's a, it's, it's better to be in the riffraff room to start out. You have a chance of being there. All right, the other day we showed you my uh, recent trip to the mall, but what, what you didn't see is that I set up a little business venture while I was there. Let's take a look. Notions, things, and sunglasses. If you need anything at all, just opened up. Grand opening. I'll beat any price in here. You name it, and I can compete with the price. I just opened up. This is my first time selling in the uh, in the mall here, so anything here is for sale. And uh, they're just things I had in the car. But if you need anything at all, I got gloves. Are you kidding? You're I got, selling things here? Yeah, you everything. You got enough to do? Things are marked up a little bit because it's just one-stop shopping. This is the Ellen doll. Well, that's kind of neat. Isn't that How cool? Much is that? Um, this is three hundred and twenty-four dollars. <laughs> are you interested in just a t-shirt? T-shirt. Okay, two hundred and twenty-four dollars. Got change if you need change. Twelve dollars, and you get the soap, bar soap. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. One sale. Uh -huh. You know what? That's the... I really need the bag back. I really like the bag. You do? Yeah. A dollar fifty. A dollar. It's very expensive, isn't it? Fourteen fifty? Yeah. But the thing is, it's one-stop shopping. Time is money. You don't have to go anywhere else. You're like, I'm not going to search them all for Ellen Rubik's Cube anymore. I've got it right here. Do I need a thermometer? Do I need a candle? Do I need Pepto-Bismol? Do I need a dollar bill? That's a dollar fifty. <laughs> thank you for shopping. Here's a hot sauce. Free. Oh, thank you. Bonus. All right. Bonus. That's how I keep the cus. Spread the word. Customers That's will come back. Cool. I'm loving the Ellen wig. You want the Ellen wig? <laughs> you want to try it on? Let me see if you sure. look like me. You look very much like me right now. <laughs> it's hours of fun. Some people just think it is an umbrella. Yeah. It, have, you want them? Two of them. Two for fifty-three dollars. No, don't thank you. Come on, fifty-two fifty. It's California. You don't need an umbrella. Well, once in a while, you do. What about hiking? Oh, it's the trail. I gotta go up the trail. <laughs> you know. For the next minute only, half off. That book is fifty-two fifty. What? Yeah. Fifty-two fifty. Yeah. Half off. Well, yeah. It it was a hundred and five. Oh, that's not a good deal. No, I'm not saying they're good deals. I'm saying that it's convenient. <laughs> I never said it was a good deal. Okay, you didn't put anything in your pocket or anything. No. I, you mind if I pat you down? Everything is back up to full price. Full price. Everything is full price for the next five minutes. Full price. And then in five minutes, everything will be half price. And then in 10 minutes, everything will be full price again. And then it'll go back down to half price and then full price. Can I help you? They're freaking out. Look at those girls. They're freaking out. This, this, this place is like a party. It is, isn't it? I say we just chuck the interview and just dance. Okay. You know, the, the, Do you want Lawrence, the, Lawrence, the guy that does the pre-interview, said that you don't consider yourself a dancer. No, I don't. I thought you were pretty good. Yeah, I, yeah. No? I dance. I like to dance, but I'm not, yeah, I mean, there are people that are amazing dancers, and I, yeah. you know, but no, I, you're good. I, I just love to don't dance. Don't sell yourself short. Okay, thank you. You have right. to have confidence. Thank you very much. Oh, if I didn't have a confidence, I wouldn't do that at all. I mean, no. I, I, I'm, you know, I'm adequate, but I'm not like... Better I, than me. Well, I'm no Usher or Justin Timberlake, I'll tell no, you that. No, well, no. So, hey, listen, uh, it's, it's, uh, did I pronounce your name right? I didn't even, I, I couldn't hear it back there. Oh. Go ahead, try. Smith. <laughs> It's, I, 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 got, I got, yes, perfect. Okay. You know, Rose, well, I got to do the Rosie show a couple years ago, and right. she called me Josh Duty Hell. <laughs> Almost as bad as the things you were trying to pronounce was earlier, all those Sask names. Saskatchewan? Was that what it was? Yeah, Saskatchewan. 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 Yeah. I live close to Saskatchewan. I'm gr I grew up close to Saskatchewan. Where? So you can't even say it. <laughs> Am I not North Dakota? We're about an hour and a half south of there. Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. How many people live in... in Near Lake Sakakawea. Oh. Well, there's no need to curse. Um, <laughs> so, so how many people live in that, that little place, Minot? Uh, Minot? Minot. Minot. Why not Minot? Why, um, freezing's the reason. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> is it, is it, it's freezing? Oh, my God. That's why I left. Yeah? It, it's, it, my last winter there got to like 104 below with the wind chill. I think it was, I think it was 60 below. And oh. then with the wind chill got to 104. So it's, it's. G great people, yeah. Because only tough people can really live there. Yeah. You know. Well, you'd need Lubrador there for sure. Yeah. I'll tell you that. What, is, what is Lubrador? I made it up. You did? Yeah. There's it's no something they sell on TV. You, no don't, such... you don't know what it is. They no, just no, see no. People no. Running we made. The fields. There's these. There are these. You know what I'm talking about? They're ads, and they have different things. Lubrador is a made-up name, but you know what I'm talking about? They're the ads, and they have things. Isn't that what was just running around here? The Lubrador? Isn't that a Lubrador? No. <laughs> no. Uh, it looked like it looked like a close relative of a Lubrador. Yeah. No, that was a closer relative to, to perhaps uh, a, a Doberman. It's a it's a miniature Doberman Pinscher. I know. I was just kidding. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um, <laughs> I love you. No. 
<laughs> love you too. Um, now listen, here's what, here's what, uh, this must feel good. Everything that's going on must feel good. But then, to be named one of 50 most beautiful people in People Magazine. <laughs> Give me that look right there. Give me that look. With, with this one? Yeah, oh. where are you looking? I don't know. Where are you looking over there? What's that? That's, that's... <laughs> That's what you're... I know. Yeah. That's, that's, that, what was it in Zoolander, Blue Magnum? Yeah. Huh? It's, it's, a, it's a, a, a derivation of that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's sexy. <laughs> it is. That was the point. Yeah. It's a, now, it's, because models are always, there's not any smiling in being a model. You no, gotta be that serious. That is sort of modely, that picture, isn't it? Yeah. Because you were a model, right? Yeah. Weren't you a model? I was when I first started. Yeah. Yes, I was. Did, right. And I know you know the story about Ashton Kutcher. We have that tape. No way. Yeah, we do. You do not. We do. We'll, we'll show you when we come back. We're going to go to commercial. There's a tape of you and Ashton Kutcher modeling. Oh, my God. You're kidding me. Josh, when you were starting out, you were modeling. Yep. And uh, there was a thing I, to no, go. I wasn't very good at it, but I got to do it. It looks like you were in this clip. But, okay. All right. Oh God. I can't and wait we to get see to see this. you in your this underwear. Is be, this is gonna be. Which fun. uh. Wait. Show him this underwear before oh, yeah, we got to that. Look. Show him. Look at that. See that? <laughs> right. I hadn't changed underwear in a couple of weeks, so all this right. is perfect. Oh, it worked good. out great. I'm Thank glad you. we can help. Yes. Um. <laughs> We'll give you a few extra pair today. Thank you. Um, so, all right. So you go to this this thing in San Francisco where everybody gets together to try yeah. to be discovered. Right. And it happened to be, and he wasn't known either, Ashton no, Kutcher. No. So this is you, and uh, in a competition. It was and, in New York, but yeah, it's same difference. Oh, okay. All right. So, so let's take a look. No worries. Here's you. Ah! things you do to break into the business. I'm telling you what, let's just do one more time. Oh First God. of all, that's, let me look you, Lou. Let me look at Lou, oh you God, real quick. Hilarious. I just want to see, this is, this you, is you good want... looking. Look at that. Wow. And your hair, how nice that Jesus, is. Jesus, that is just. That's good looking. Wait, that is so look straight. at your underwear thing. That's, look at that. All right, let me show you Ashton how mad he, I'm beautiful and I'm angry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad. All right. Um, Wow. So, you, you work so hard to gain respectability in this in the industry, something like this. That's good. Uh, yeah. they're, Respectable? They're, that's a good my, thing. I don't think my mother's ever seen that. She's going to get, she's going to, I'm going to have a phone call waiting for me when that, I leave here. She should be proud Happy of Happy Mother's that. Day, Mother. Happy Mother's there Day. You go. Uh, to, and you did good. Look at what you did. Look what you made. You made that. That's good. Um, she should be proud, and you should be proud. And and it's, uh, it, Las Vegas has been picked up for a second season. Yes. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's a good show. Like Thank it. you. I like it. All right. Uh, also, everybody in the audience is getting a win a date with Tad Hamilton on DVD.